You're lucky I'm not Shere Khan. I'd have made you pay for that. We haven't seen him for quite a while. Do you miss him? <laughs> How about if we make everyone think it's Shere Khan's skeleton? Ow. All our master Shere Khan will have to do is hide, and then if everyone thinks he's dead, no one will be on the lookout for him. They'd be walking alone, not suspecting a thing, and then scratch! Shere Khan could serve himself. How are we going to make everyone believe it? It's Ricky Ticky, who's not too picky. It's Ricky Ticky, who's not too picky. <laughs> oh, oh, Shere Khan, my master, dying so young. It's so sad. What a terrible loss. <laughs> oh, Shere Khan, dead at last? Good riddance. And I'm not the only person who'll be pleased at this news. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's not ruined your appetite. I can't really imagine how he died or was killed. We've got to see that. I've rarely seen a dead animal become a skeleton so quickly. We hadn't seen him alive for quite a while. I'd like to study the bones to see how old he was. What can that matter now? Can you tell me? You even keep hounding him when he's dead. <laughs> you liked him as much as all that? <laughs> this may seem strange, but... But he thought a lot about you. <laughs> so much that he wanted to kill me. Yes, well... Did you know that there's a thing in the jungle where you spend the night with the body of your best enemy? Alone with Shere Khan. Even with him in that state, it's not a good idea. You're probably right. Maybe we could do a collective vigil. Why not? He was an important figure in the jungle, after all. If that's what you want. Hmm. Not about the respect for the dead. All right, I won't touch it. <laughs> now we just have to spread the good news. <sighs> right, well, I'll leave you to your morning. It's just a very cunning plan. Nobody will be on their guard, especially the man cub who'll start wandering through the jungle thinking that there's nothing to fear. I see. So there's going to be a vigil in my honor? With all the animals. I'm really looking forward to hearing what they are going to say about me. <laughs> Don't you think you're a bit too close, Master? I'm looking forward to hearing how they're going to flatter and praise me. Uh... What's the matter? The dead have the right to be praised, don't they? Well, I'll go and start the ceremony and then I'll come back. I know that you all loved our friend and master, Shere Khan. <laughs> and that is why we are all here, to pay our final respect. <laughs> Excuse me, but I can't say any more. It's, it's too hard. I would like to say that Shere Khan was extremely cruel. That's true. Very, very, cruel. Cruel. That's very, very cruel. cruel. And that he had piggy eyes. We don't mention appearance. We must be honest and respectful and only speak about our master's quality. He preferred attacking the small and weak. Never have dared picking a fight with me because... It is a shame that a lord like Shere Khan should be so selfish. He could have done great things. Oh, Shere Khan, with your fangs and stripes. Uh, I remember when you were only a cub, Shere Khan. One day you ate a banana thinking it was a lizard. <laughs> this is supposed to be a funeral vigil, and all they can do is boast or talk nonsense. Be patient. There's a legend that says big tigers have several lives. Shere Khan is still alive somewhere, but in a different form. Thanks, Ponya. That's a very nice legend. By the way, I forgot to say that deep down, Shere Khan wasn't as bad as all that. Eh, Shere Khan? If you can hear me, as soon as you find out what form Shere Khan's taken, let me know, will ya? I'm counting on you. So, according to the legend, what form will Shere Khan take now? Could be a plant or an animal, 
But it has to be something harmless because you can't be something evil twice running. And how do we recognize him? By the smell. The scent stays the same. If we find the scent, we've found the new Shere Khan. <laughs> There's a strong smell of tiger. <sighs> They'll follow the tiger scent. <laughs> What's the matter with you? It was just so that your delicate scent would rub off on me. You heard them. They're going to follow your scent. We'll, we'll split up. I see. Mowgli will follow one scent trail, and Bagheera will follow another. <laughs> hmm. Ah! Shere Khan! A fern? They think that I've become a fern? It's very strange, but the scent is moving. That fern can't be Shere Khan. He's maybe already changing form again. According to the legend, a tiger can have nine lives. They'd better find me something with a bit more prestige. Did you know that he was so arrogant? That's not arrogance. That's pride. That's his scent. Shere Khan's returned as a fly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't like to end up as a fly. I'd die of shame. There's no point in buzzing like that, Shere Khan, my dear fellow. You're a fly, and there's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Shere Khan. He wouldn't have disappeared so quickly into a panther's stomach. I'll take the right, and you take the left. Hmm. I can smell tiger scent on the left and on the right. Maybe Shere Khan took the form of two different animals? My plans worked better than I even dared hope. He smells strongly of tiger. Could Shere Khan have become a monkey? Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, hello, Bagheera. I don't think you're Shere Khan, even if you stink as much as he does. Maybe Mowgli's had more luck finding him. Oops. Uh, Shere Khan? Is that you? <laughs> oh! You were looking for me, perhaps. He could go back to his tiger form again. It's very rare, but not impossible. Ah, oh, and his character. Oh, no. He can only be a nice, kind tiger. Look, you can pull his whiskers. Try it. He won't mind. <laughs> Wow, yes, it's crazy. If I put my head in his mouth, he wouldn't do anything? Now, now, be nice. Nice little tiger. You don't scare me, Shere Khan. Ah! Go on, Master. I'm holding him. Mowgli's yours. Shere Khan, you can keep the bone as a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find out that it wasn't Shere Khan's skeleton? In the jungle, you find something called carbon, and that's what helps you to decide how old a bone is. Those bones were much too old to have belonged to our Shere Khan. I was wondering if you, Baloo, weren't one of the forms of a great legendary wise animal. Hmm. That blow on the head was too much. He thinks that the bone is a member of his family. Do you remember, Granny, when I was just a little cub? Goofy, Shere Khan's claw! <laughs> <laughs>
Bagheera slid down the forbidden hill on a banana leaf. Mowgli leapt from vine to vine, taunting Shere Khan as he boiled over with rage. And then you'll never guess what happened. The stupid tiger tripped and knocked himself out against a tree. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> why, of course. I just figured out why I'm so bored in this prairie. In fact, it's very simple. I'm an adventurer, a treasure hunter. Like you, doesn't every adventurer have an ultimate weapon? My friends, I proudly present the Tickling Fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's some lethal weapon. <laughs> Poor Pavo. He's as nearsighted as a mole. You can laugh all you like. I have the soul of an adventurer, and I'm going to prove it. At high noon, I will go off to hunt for treasure in the jungle, alone. Pavo is the clumsiest peacock I know. If he goes off alone, he'll get in trouble. Pavo the bold! Pavo the bold? <laughs> Pavo the don't, you mean? He's headed for disaster. How can we stop Pavo from going off on his own? Come here, you! Hello! Uh. We need your advice! Pavo wants to go off all alone in the jungle and be an adventurer! That peacock is his own worst enemy. What can we do? Sort of our fault. In fact, we were telling him about our latest adventures. Hey, we... calm down. Let me think this over. Unless you already have an idea of your own. What if we organized a treasure hunt with, uh, uh that mango? Hmm. It would satisfy Pavo's need for adventure while keeping track of him. Do we really have to use my mango? <laughs> Where do we hide it? Hmm. At the intersection of the radiant rays of the sun and the shadow of the gray cliff. <laughs> the intersection of the radiant rays of the sun and the shadow of the gray cliff is a well-known phrase among peafowl and birds in general to designate the oldest tree in the jungle. Pavo won't wander too far and he'll still feel like a real adventurer. Ready for my adventure. As soon as the sun reaches its zenith, I'm off. And when is that? Right now! That's excellent! How would you like to go on a treasure hunt for a precious fruit? A treasure? What is this precious fruit? Uh, you don't know the legend of the Mimi Goo Goo Mango? It's a mango that is never depleted. You can eat it, but it's always there. It was hidden in the jungle a long time ago. Yes. At the intersection of the radiant rays of the sun and the shadow of the grey cliff. This is a mission for Pavo the Bold. And in fact, <laughs> I know just where the treasure is hidden. You've already solved the ancient riddle? Tut tut tut! Where are you going? Pavo the Bold travels alone. I must prove myself. The road may be perilous, but I shall accomplish my mission alone. Is it me, or did our plan just fail? We'll have to use plan B. Follow and protect Parvo without him noticing. Master! Master! I know! The man-cub! I have a plan! I'm all ears. <laughs> Out with it! <laughs> I know where Baloo will hide the mango for the treasure hunt with Pavo, Mowgli, and Bagheera if you want to catch the manga by surprise. <sighs> the intersection of the sun's rays and the shadow of a clay cliff. What is this gibberish? Everyone knows that spot is at the river. Pavo the bold is strong and quick. Ouch! <laughs> Ah, 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 that stings! Thanks, Bart. What are you doing here? Did you follow me? I told you I had to prove myself. We just wanted to see Pavo the Bold in action. Can we please? All right. But if you come with me, it's just to watch and learn. Come on, we're off to monkey territory. 
It's the shortest route to where the radiant rays of the sun intersect with the shadow of the grey cliff. Pavo, the bold is strong and quick. I don't understand it. This is where the sun's rays are. Everyone knows that. Yet you can see there is no mango and no cliff. Balu is clever. The riddle is surely a code to designate a specific place. Balu was here, but he continued this way. Is there a problem? What's going on? Pavo the Bold is here to help you. Pavo, I think we better leave. And what brings you here to my territory? You've come to break my throne, is that it? Just a minute, sweetheart. We didn't break a thing. We are tracking a magic fruit, the mini Google mango. Yes, madam. It's a mango that never grows smaller. Even when you eat it, it's hidden at the foot of the oldest tree in the jungle. That's a legend, right, Baggy? <laughs> Detain the intruders. Us? All alone? <whistles> <laughs> <laughs> shall be mine. <laughs> Marsha will see that Pavo the Bold must be reckoned with. That's my treasure. The mango is probably under that mound of soil, at the spot where the shadow of the cliff and the sun's rays. That's easy with your nose. Ahem. <laughs> if you value your life, get lost. <laughs> The treasure! I'm a real adventurer! Burr, 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 burr. <gasps> what a magnificent treasure! No! I'm the one who found the mini Google Mango! No one is taking it from me! Over my dead body! <laughs> the treasure Shere Khan is talking about is us! <laughs> I am Pavo the Bold, an adventurer whose courage knows no bounds. Here comes that tickling fan! for this moment all day. But that's not a magic mango. It's not the famous Mimi Goo Goo. You wanted to go off alone on your adventures, so we made up the story about the treasure hunt to keep an eye on you. We were worried because you're so clumsy, but in fact, you watched out for us thanks to your bold character. It's true, I'm very brave, but perhaps a little awkward too. I wouldn't have managed without you. <laughs> <laughs> So, I unfolded my tickling fan and rushed at Shere Khan. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mowgli freed Baloo and bing, bang, <laughs> boom! That fat cat Shere Khan went flying into a patch of cactus. You're so bold! You're my hero! <laughs> 
Of course, tomorrow I'll be off seeking new adventures. You'll be here, right? Here we go again. I've had enough. We've been chasing him for hours now. We'll never catch him. Let's forget it. Do you realise what you're saying? <laughs> Tricky stole my pendant. My pendant! Yes, well, maybe that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't stolen his banana, eh? <laughs> Into Mowgli. <laughs> Come on, give it back. It's not funny anymore. So, did you catch the pendant thief? <sighs> Tricky? You must be joking. He's been driving us crazy. But he'll never give it back. Oh. <laughs> My pendant! Where did you find it? I don't know. Leave me alone. I haven't slept a wink. Baloo's been scratching all night. He's being eaten alive by bugs. Thanks, Baloo. I felt naked without my pendant. Ooh! How did you get it back? First of all, I promised Tricky's mother that you'd go and apologize because it cost me a lot of effort and, above all, a family of fleas. Ooh. Sorry about that. Do you want me to help you scratch? So that you get them too? No way. Why don't you go for a walk with Bagheera while I get rid of the wretched things? Bucky, what's keeping you? I'm famished. Just a minute, Master. I've only got two paws. I can't do everything at once. One, two... Yes, that's it. Two paws. What a fool! How about if I give Baloo a brand new gourd for his honey? His old one's got holes in it. What do you think? <coughs> Maybe not, eh? It's not good enough. What then? Don't know. Give him a juicy mango or a banana leaf full of nice fat termites. Oh, <laughs> he loves those. No, they're no good. Maybe you don't realise it, but Baloo recovered my pendant. He deserves an exceptional present for that. <laughs> if you want to give him a really useful present, I suggest you get him something for his fleas. At least then I'd be able to sleep. All right. I know it's my fault that he caught them. And all that because Sir Mowgli fooled around to get a stupid banana. <sighs> yes, all right. But you're not really helping me here. But you don't like anything. You refused all my great ideas. If that's the way it is, I'm going home. Go on, then. Go and have a snooze. I'll find something on my own. What's that? I feel much better. Now, sing something soft. I'm going to have a little nap. Sleep, oh great jungle king, sleep my master while I sing. Oh tiger, generous and kind, you are always on my mind. You've forgotten the palm frond again. You know I hate being disturbed by insects when I sleep. Is there no way to molt in peace around here without all this shouting and sniveling? Shut up, you'll wake him. Oh no, not that. Achoo! Tupaki, you went to sleep again, you lazy jackal! I'm sorry, Master. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Go and get the bone. Immediately! Uh, what? What bone? The bone with teeth, Blockhead! I need good scratching. Now! But, Master, I've already combed you three times today. Get to it! I've had all I can take. Ah! Oh. Mm. Uh, what in blazes? Tabaki? 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 Ha, ha, ha.
Throwing that bone away? Could you give it to me? Go on, please. That magic bone is mine. I saw it first, and I need it right now to get rid of this dreadful itching. What could you do with it? You haven't even got hands to hold it with. But Tabaki could be my back scratcher, eh? You know how to do that, don't you? No, no, and no, again! I, I've had enough of combing and brushing. Brush me here, comb me there. Hiya, you lazy jackal. Oh, oh. oh, that's over, you understand? O-V-E-R. <laughs> no more scratching. No more combing. I know. You wanted to show your affection and give Mowgli a big hug, is that it? Mowgli has something that belongs to me, and we were talking about it nicely and... Oh! <sighs> Car's talking nonsense. The bone doesn't even belong to him. You weren't doing too well there. And what's all this about a bone? I'll explain on the way. It was a put-up job, Master. While Carr was hypnotizing me, Mowgli stole the bone with his teeth. They're in it together. I couldn't do anything to stop them. No one steals from Shere Khan. They'll pay for this. Uh, well, we shouldn't worry about that. They must be far away by now. Hey, I've got a great idea. I could maybe make you another bone with teeth, eh? What about that, Master? Ow! With your wimpy jaws? You must be joking. That grasshopper of a Mowgli will give me back that bone. You can be sure of that. Right, Baloo, close your eyes. A surprise? For me? Oops, be careful of the fleas. Uh, Baloo, we ought to tell you something about that bone. Ha, ka! Mowgli's just given me the most incredible gift. Don't say a word. I think it's a back scratcher. The one that Mowgli borrowed off me, for example. Give me the molting bone right now. A molting bone, you said? And how can you use it on your own? The truth is, the bone isn't cars either. I can see that. From the width of the bites and the size of the fangs, I'd say, for the love of a bear. That bone's mine! Car and that deceitful little Mowgli stole it from me! That's not true! I didn't steal anything! Tabaki was going to throw the bone away, and I thought that you didn't want it anymore! Uh, throw away the bone? Tabaki? Uh, that flea bitten jackal will get what's coming to him! But it was still you and Car who stole it! You're not going to get away that easily! I'd advise you not to touch a hair of Mowgli's head. <laughs> you should leave now. What am I going to do now? My bone! You fool! You've broken... Oh, my bone! What's going on here? Come on, Mowgli. How about if I asked you to give me a hand and scratch me here? I could help you out there if you like, but you'll have to not move a scale, because right now I'm a bit on edge. Some great gift. It's totally ruined now. What's this? It's fantastic! Is it for me? Yes! I made it before I found the bone. Do you like it? Really? <laughs> what about your fleas, though? Let's say that Shere Khan has adopted them. 
And now his bone with teeth is broken. They'll be around for a long time. Harder, you idle jackal. I'm not a kitten. Get flattened or fall into the chasm. Get flattened or fall into the chasm. <laughs> What did the servant have against you? Um, he's after my secret tamarind stash. But I wasn't going down without a fight. By playing dead? Well, the truth is, I got scared and bolted. I'm just a big bonehead. Yes, and you're a big wuss, and a weakling, and lots of other things that start with W. It's easy for you to call people names when you're safely in your tree. Marsha's right. I'm nothing but a loser. You just need a bit more self-confidence, that's all. If only I were a wolf too. My life would be so much easier. <laughs> but warthogs are good at lots of things too. Like swimming, yes. There's no point in trying to make me feel better. I'm the biggest loser of all the warthogs in the jungle. <laughs> Everything scares me at the moment. <laughs> can we help? I, I, I don't know. You can help me to, uh, to, um, oh! Yes, 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 yes! Huh? Become a wolf! <laughs> what a stupid, ridiculous idea! You're not going to seriously help this big oaf become a wolf! <laughs> See? It's totally pointless. He's a lost cause. You're wrong, Fiona. Tolerance and team spirit, Fiona. That's also what wolves are about. Rana needs our help to get his self-confidence back. What? But, Rana, if you can make it to the top of the Golden Mountain all by yourself and howl like a wolf, you can run with the wolves for one whole day. Yes, 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 yes! Rule number one, to become a wolf, you have to run with the great strength and... I know, I know! <laughs> ...without making a sound. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> it's up to me to make sure that Rana is never allowed to run with the wolf pack. Rule number two, you've got to know how to howl. That's the only way other worlds can find you, if you get lost or something. I've come to make a deal, Shere Khan. Um, I want you to get rid of Rana for me. What's in it for me? Mowgli. I like it. Meet me on the bridge tomorrow morning. I'll bring you the Warthog. Third and final rule. To be a real wolf, you've got to be agile and know how to leap over any obstacles. <laughs> I didn't want to miss that. You're not ready to become a wolf. You jump like a lump. Marsha is right. How am I ever going to climb that mountain? I'll never be strong, nimble and brave. It's too hard. You must believe in yourself and overcome your fear. You are ready. You have the strength within you. Hmm. <laughs> You're mine now. Leave me here. I've got to do this on my own. Are you sure? You've done everything you can. Now, it's up to me. This 
mission is too impossible. How am I supposed to get anywhere with my little legs? I'm a lump. A lump. You have the strength within you. <laughs> Quite mistaken. You've given me a much better idea. Thanks to you, we're going to put an end to both Rana and Mowgli. Huh? How are you going to give me the man cub and the warthog? The pack will easily leap over this hole, but the clumsy warthog will be lagging behind and will fall into the chasm. Mowgli will fall into your claws. That's music to my ears. I did it! Oh, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We're proud of you, Rona. Welcome. You have truly earned a day with the wolves. <laughs> Let's go hunting. <laughs> I'm a wolf! I'm a wolf! I'm a wolf! We'll be spotted. Remember rule number one. Be able to run without making a sound. Go on without us. We'll take a short break. Being a wolf is wearing me out. Action stations. Masha? Help! The pain! Oh, the pain! Quick! Oh, sorrow! Oh, oblivion! I'm in pain! <laughs> it's a trap! Oh, no, no, no! Sheer Khan! I'm not a wolf! I'm not a wolf! I'm a big chicken! A loser! <laughs> Save Mowgli or play dead! Save Mowgli or play dead! Oh, no, 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 no! You won't get me that easily! Two birds with one stone. It was well worth the wait to get rid of both Rana and Mowgli. On that. I promise I'll never call you a lump again, or I'll be a monkey's uncle. You sure are one brave warthog. Come out of hiding, Fiona. We know this was all your idea. Shere Khan is as useless as Rana. Because of him, I've still got to put up with you two. Rana saved our lives. We'd all be dead if he hadn't stepped in. And it was all because that two-faced Fiona set a trap for us. Well, someone had to fight for the pack's dignity. Imagine taking in a warthog on top of the man cub. Congratulations, Rana. You are the bravest of warthogs and deserve to be an honorary wolf. As for you, Fiona, you deserve to be severely punished. Rana is going to spend a day teaching you a thing or two about courage and dignity. We're going to smash into trees. 
So, little wolf, to charge, you run forward, put your head down, and don't think twice. Now it's your turn. Take a good run up. <laughs> it's much more serious than I thought. Our tree's covered in a kind of fungus that's suffocating it. But it's not going to die, is it? <sighs> I don't know, Mowgli. But for the moment, we'll have to find another place to sleep. I promise that we'll do everything to save it. It's always been our tree. You can trust Baloo. He knows lots of remedies. But the tree will not get better quickly. Should I look for another place to sleep for the three of us? Yes, unfortunately. At least for a while. Huh. So, are you ready for a bout with me, eh? Come on, come on! I'm waiting for you. Oh, hello, Ricky. I'm sorry, but I don't really feel like playing. What's the matter? Our tree is withering. Oh, yeah? That doesn't matter. There are lots of other trees. Yes, but that's ours. Mine. Baloo and Bagheera's. I grew up in that tree. Wait, wait, wait. I can show you some great places where you'll sleep really well. Really? I'm going to show you a place with a fantastic view. You're not the only one interested, but if you want it, I can make sure you get priority right now. Where is it? Well, you see I wasn't lying. Pretty impressive, eh? Impressive, but very, very small. It's not small, it's compact. It would be a bit of a crush for the three of us. Uh, you've got to decide what you want. If you want a great view, you've got to climb a bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, Bagheera. You will. Keep trying. I'm sure you'll be able to save our tree. Have you seen how original it is? You really can't be tall. I mean, it's really very low. <laughs> Where are you? I slept! I'm in a hole! Here! That's not a hole. It's a sleeping place. Baloo will never get in here. He'll just have to crawl. It'll be good exercise for him. Honestly, this is a great deal and very unusual. Yes, well, maybe it's just a bit too unusual and... Uh, what's that smell? Smell? What smell? <laughs> uh. <coughs> <coughs> Who on earth lived there before? A uh, polecat, I think. Why? The leaves will stick there all night and tomorrow. When they fall, the tree will be cured. And if they fall straight away? That would mean that it wasn't a good method. <sighs> Where is it? Uh, what is it? It's there, on the rock. How do we get to it? It's very easy. You cross this pond of pure water. You get up in the morning, take a quick little dip in there, and you come out all... Covered in mud? What's more, in the evening when you're talking about a marsh, you're talking about... Mosquitoes! <laughs> and when they sting, we scratch happily. You're too choosy. Find something on your own. I heard your predicament. It's terrible. Baloo, Bagheera and I have got to leave our tree. If Shere Khan wasn't so selfish and nasty, you could go live with him. Yes, very funny. Do you think I'd throw myself in your pal's mouth just like that? He's not my pal, just an acquaintance that I use. Do you know what I mean? If the truth be known, I detest him. But on the other hand, I like you, and if I could help you... <sighs> you see the jungle better from the sky. I'll find a good place for you to sleep. You'll see. have to find another remedy. If the roots also come to the surface, that's a very bad sign. Where's the deer you promised me? It was there. It was just begging to be eaten, but it got away. You are totally hopeless. You are no good to me at all. You just live off my leavings, that's all. Get lost, you feathered fool. <laughs> 
there is a little man cub who finds himself with nowhere to live. A man cub who is wandering in the jungle all alone. Well, well. And knowing how helpful you are, I imagine that you have found him something. Yes, a nice place, not very far from here. A place where a tiger could easily hide and surprise a solitary man cub. Oh, Mowgli will never fall into such an obvious trap. It'll be easy, believe me. It's a hopeless plan. Keep your remarks to yourself, Tabaki. It is your plans that are hopeless. Oh. It's your lucky day, man cub. I've found you something. I can get along fine by myself. Ah! <sighs> That's a shame. Is it far away? I'm sure he's going to show him something pathetic. The <laughs> traitor! What are you doing there? Yeah, I know you. Do you want to suggest a place to Mowgli too? Mowgli can sleep wherever he wants. It doesn't matter to me. What do you want with Mowgli? What do you think? You see, I didn't lie to you. It's... it's... Incredible! And you haven't seen the inside yet. Go in then, man cub. First, let me take a look. When I tell Baloo and Baggy, they'll come to see this. Take it from me, you just won't believe what's inside this tent. Well, well, well. So you've changed friends, have you? Ricky! <sighs> just who we needed. Is that all he's found you for a sleeping place? You can see that it's falling apart. Look, it's fine. Don't you know that if Kalu says that it's fine, that means in reality that it's not? What do you know about it? Nothing! If this feathered fibber says something, you always have to believe the opposite. Absolutely not at all! That tiger's a cruel idiot. Everyone knows that. You... There! It's like I said. You are right. Cher Khan is excessively intelligent. What's more, this kind of thing's not stable. The slightest gust of wind and it blows away. Look, no windows. That means even in broad daylight, it's night in there. You see those things? They're no use at all. Look, heave ho! Leave that alone, you stupid fool! <laughs> you say that, but I know you mean the opposite. <gasps> You've got to admit that Ricky's right. It doesn't seem very strong. It is, it is. Go and look inside. Hey, Tabaki! Oh. Are you there too? Come on, you can give us your opinion. <laughs> Tabaki! Come and help me! Get out of it yourself. You're the one who's so clever. Hey, that's enough. Break it up, you guys. <laughs> If you'd let me in on your plan, Mowgli would already be inside. Which of you two is Shere Khan's favourite? <laughs> oh, what stupid idiots! Wait for me, Master. All oh, that's Kalu's fault. I'll get you out of there. I said this wasn't the right place for you. You're right. And the occupier didn't seem too pleasant. Wait! Let me help you! Master, remember that Kalu called you a cruel idiot! <laughs> Baggy? I didn't find anything. I'm sorry. Ooh. Don't worry, Mowgli. These flies eat tree fungus. They've saved our tree. Look! 
Right. It'll be a while before we can live in it again, but it will soon get its strength back. We'll stay around here to keep an eye on its recovery. There, it's ready. It's not too high, not too low, not too light, not too dark, not too damp, but not too dry. It's totally ricky-ticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hurts. It's sore and my dose is running. Ow! I'm tired of listening to you sniveling. Stop it! I'm hungry. Go and fetch me something to eat. But I can't. I can't smell a thing and I'm buzzing in my ears like a whole hive of bees. Honey, Baloo, he could cure me. That's right. Go and beg Baloo for a cure, you wimp. You really have no self-respect at all. Have you seen these? What's the matter with these mini bananas? It's even worse than I thought. You know that several swarms of wild bees have disappeared. Really? So it's bees who make fruit? That's new. Come on, don't be silly. You know that it's the pollen that bees transport from flower to flower that allows the fruit to develop. Yes, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm just upset by the whole thing. Oh, I can't smell anything anymore. I need some honey. Well, hello to you too, Tabaki. I see you've got a heavy cold. Oh. That's nothing serious. I've just what you need. So it seems there are no more bees. Good riddance. I hate being stung. But don't you understand anything? No more bees means no more honey. Huh? What do you mean, no more honey? What about my cure? We're not bothered about your cure. Without bees, you won't have any honey at all. So if you keep on talking nonsense like that, you'll have your cold for a long time to come. Is there anything wrong? The honey stalks have gone right down. We really must get some more. Uh, Come down, Tabaki. There's enough for you. Let's go and find out where the bees have gone. Can we go to the hive? Where well, there's my favorite mulberry bush. Please. Ba -ta -ta. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ki -ki. It's crazy. I was really ill and suddenly I'm like new again. Thanks, Baloo. I'll leave you now and say hello to the hive for me. La la la. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, my mulberry bush! It's a disaster! It should have been covered in berries, shouldn't it? For the love of a bear! It's even worse than I imagined! Hmm. Oh, listen to this! Ta ta, baba, kiki! Haha, <laughs> I'm cured! Stop, you fool! You've given me your germs! Because of you, I can't eat anything, and my throat is on fire! Do you think that I'm going to crawl to Baloo like you and beg for some honey? Me, Shere Khan! Ah, uh, no. Besides, he's gone away to get some more honey. Hey, I saw where they were going. Now, I've got my sense of smell back. I could find the spot and bring you back some honey. What do you think? Ow! Sure, and you're going to bring it back in your little paws. Is that it? Idiot. I'll get you for this. I've got to eat. I've no choice. I need that honey. You've got to take me to that bee's nest now. No! No! My bee's nest! I've been taking great care of this nest. Where have the bees gone? And who made them leave? Look at these claw marks. Those certainly aren't yours. Oh no, you're not going to like this. It's the old queen! Hmm. You taught me that there is always the larva of a queen ready to be born. Of course, you're right. Look for a cell that's bigger than the others. Honey, honey, honey. There are no honeycombs with larvae. There's nothing here, but all is not lost. We'll have to check every bee's nest in the area. Hmm. What's that? They look like droppings. A badger? Oh, jeez! Oh, I'm going to tell that badger a thing or two. I can't believe it. Where's all the honey gone? <laughs> Do 
you think that the bees have found refuge here? It's not that simple. A few bees do not make a nest. You must have a queen. For the love of a bear, what a disaster! And not before time, get me out of here! Not so fast. Was it you who destroyed all the bees' nests? So what? You're not the only one who likes honey. Now I can't get out. My burrow shrunk. Are you going to get me out of here or not? All right. I wanted a nest all of my own, so I took a honeycomb with some lava. Yes, to make a nest work, you need workers. What's the matter with that? And the honeycomb is still in the burrow, is that it? With the workers outside? You glutton! If the bees can't enter, they can't make honey or feed the larvae. Blah, 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 blah! You can't think of everything. I like sweet things. So what? At first, my little honey factory worked well. So you taste some, and then a bit more, and soon you're stuck in your burrow. In that case, stay there. Do you realize that you're endangering the entire forest? No. We've got to free him. I'll explain. You aren't affected by bee stings, so only you can recover the swarm. There, with all that pollen, no bee will be able to resist you. They'll follow you to the ends of the earth. For the love of a bee, that's amazing. If the future queen is at the bottom of the burrow and you find the hive, maybe the bees will be able to create a new colony? Your trap's working really well. It looks like the bee's trying to say something. That's how they communicate between themselves. If she follows me into the forest, she might attract one of the missing swarms. Well, you're taking your time. Have you understood? You find out where Baloo's going to put the new bee's nest. I'll deal with Mowgli. And when my throat is better... <laughs> I'll swallow him whole. More to the left! Not the jungle's best digger, are you? <laughs> Ow! My throat! Listen, Glutton, is there a bit of honey left at the bottom of your burrow by any chance? <laughs> when you're hungry enough. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Where did you get to? Ah, ah, oh, 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 what are you doing here? Are you alone? Tell me. Where's Shere Khan? Oh, oh, tell them to go away. Shere Khan's at Hajit's burrow. We just wanted some honey for his throat. Mowgli's in danger. We're going back to Hajit. You'd better run if you don't want to be stung. What's that noise? How do I know? Maybe it's the lava who are fed up of eating honey. <laughs> Maybe it's the queen hatching out. Get out of the way. Hey, mind what you're doing. Don't forget this is my burrow. You're taking up all the room. Shere Khan, the day has not dawned when you will catch Mowgli. <laughs> Are you just going to let the swarm and its new queen go? How are we going to find them again? Let's let them establish a new colony first. Then we'll go and look for them. When you've stopped playing about, get me out of here! 
Just a minute, Hajit stays where he is. I feel that he needs some time to think things over. Don't worry, and I'm sure that the glutton isn't hungry. Are you, Hajit? You'll be able to leave your burrow in a couple of days. You'll have lots of time to think about the consequences of your incredible selfishness. Is he serious? As serious as a fantastic bear can be. <laughs>